Hello and welcome back. We had moored up for the night between Tamhorn House Bridge and Tamhorn Park Bridge next to the peaceful Hopwood Hayes Wood, which is helpfully marked in our Collins Nicholson Guide as a danger zone. It forms part of the Ministry of Defence's Whittington Firing Range. As you can see, the mooring ropes have been tidied and we've cast off. Well, we've bumped along the edge for a short while. You can see that there is still a bit of wind, if you're looking at the trees, remaining after yesterday's stormy weather. It is early in the morning of Monday the 27th of August 2018. So early, in fact, we've not even had breakfast yet. We pass under Tamhorn Park Bridge, which means we're on the Birmingham Canal Navigations. We didn't realise that at the time. All we knew is that we were on the Coventry Canal. Or was it for Birmingham and Faisley? That really nice looking wooded area to the right hand side is all part of the Whittington Firing Range Danger Zone. And just where that boat was moored was a big sign saying no mooring. Whilst I was busy at the tiller, Paul had been busy in the galley and a steaming hot cup of tea had been delivered to me at the tiller. I was also handed boiled eggs and toast for breakfast. I hadn't realised how hungry I was. We seem to be meeting a lot of boats going in the other direction. You can definitely tell it's a bank holiday Monday. This canal and the surrounding countryside are just stunning. It's really beautiful. The overhanging willow trees and just everything is about it is just really, really nice. 
Now at this part of the vlog I have absolutely no idea whereabouts we are on the canal system. We... Oh, hang on, is that a... Yes, that's a bridge. Right, there hasn't been a bridge for a while, so that's either going to be Dunstall Bridge or possibly Sutton Road Bridge. So if it's Dunstall Bridge, there'll be a smaller bridge just round the corner. Or if it's Sutton Road Bridge, round the corner will be a massive bridge with the A5 going over it. Let's see which one that is. Definitely the A5, right. So we're about a mile away from Faisley Junction. So we've got to go under Bonehill Bridge, past Peel's Wharf, and then keep left at the junction to remain on the commentary to canal towards Tamworth. <laughs> On the brick building directly in front of us is a painting of a kingfisher and of a robin. We're at Faisley Junction, so we need to keep left and we're head on down the Coventry Canal. That's for Watling Street Bridge just in front of us. That's bridge number 76. Um, so we've come about 11 miles from Fradley Junction and we're about 19 miles from Marston Junction at this point. Ugh, typical. We could have probably got two boats past the moored one but I didn't really fancy going into the brambles then. It's getting a little bit industrial now that must mean we're coming back into town. Okay keep an eye out for some white metal railings on the left hand side just along here as the canal narrows down. Uh, that's the aqueduct that takes us over the river Tame and then just after that we'll pass back under the A5 at Cattlebrook which means we must be approaching our first locks of the day. Someone's obviously moved those locks because on the map they look a lot closer than they actually are. No, locks don't move. That couldn't have been the A5 bridge. Ah, there's the A5 bridge. Never mind about the bridge. Okay, it's audience participation time. As we pass this other canal boat, there's a bridge that comes across and there's mum and two young kids that are walking across the bridge. As we go under the bridge, wave back at them because they were waving at us. Thank you. We've had to slow right down because of all the moored boats and as we come under the railway bridge we really are coming up to our first locks of the day. Heart sinks a little bit as we see the back of that boat thinking that it's the end of the queue but as we approach it pulls off and actually goes through the lock so we shouldn't have too long to wait.
that didn't take too long, did it? Uh, we'll just wait for this boat to come past us and then we'll pull away. And actually, when I say we, there's Paul going up the towpath now to do the lock gates and paddles. These are, of course, the Glasgow locks. You might recognise them from other YouTube channels as quite a few other vloggers have passed through these locks during 2018. One of the really nice things about being on a canal boat is that you have to slow down. When you actually slow yourself down, you find that you've got the time to stop and have a conversation with people. When your boat's captured in a lock and you're doing the lock paddles, there is nothing else you can do but talk to the person that's helped you with the lock. It's a great way of meeting people. It's a great way of having a joke, having a laugh, because all of the stories that you hear people telling you whilst you're waiting for a lock to fill, they're generally really funny. This is the second lock that we're in, and it looks to be roughly the same depth as the last one, so it should take about the same amount of time. The gate looks a little bit leakier than the other one, but uh, it should be alright. Paul's up the top there having a really good natter with the other boater, who's helping him with the lock paddles on this one. As Paul opens the lock gate for me, I take the boat out, and as I pass him, he says that he's, he's going to have a bit of a walk along the towpath. I think what he really wants to do is have a nose at all the boats in Glasgow Basin, which is just under that bridge on the left-hand side. As we pass under the next bridge, there are some dredged up remains of a moped and a couple of push bikes chained to the towpath gate. I'm glad they weren't still in the canal. We're passing a lot of classic boats heading in the opposite direction to us today. We pass this one and the winding hole on the right, and then the canal narrows. That looks like the remains of an old bridge. Whoa! Boat. Head on collision averted, thankfully. I'm not going to say that didn't shake both of us up and I honestly can't remember if we had sounded the horn or not. We make a mental note to use the horn in future on blind bends. As we approach the moored up boats, we spot one heading our way and decide to be overly cautious and hide in the bushes until it passes. This appears to be a very popular mooring location. There must be really good facilities near here. We arrive at Alvecott Marina at Grendon Dock and realise that's where the boats have been coming from. There was an impressive array of working and historical boats gathered, all clean and gleaming in the sunlight. Classic engines making those wonderful chug chug noises. And then there was us, slowly passing by at Tickover with our modern diesel engine sounds. Just after we pass under this bridge, we're going to be passing Pooley Country Park and the Pooley Fields Heritage Centre. This area was once spoil heaps from the local industries, but it's now a pleasant place to come and exercise. 
Apparently, there's even a golf course. We've just passed Pooley Hall and we are reaching the outskirts of Polesworth. Just up here on the left there appears to be visitor moorings. In the guide it says it's moorings with ring. It looks really nice. We of course don't stop. We're, we're heading further south. Um, might be a good place to stop next time we pass through. I think we haven't done too bad. Um, it's taken us a little while to get down here, but it has been quite busy. And it's, mm, I think my stomach's telling me that it's almost time to have something to eat. We appear to be hiding in the undergrowth. There must be another boat coming. It's definitely past lunchtime, so I think we need to start to look for somewhere to moor. After the next couple of bridges, there should be a decent bit of towpath where we can moor up and rustle up something to eat. Just enough time to say if you'd like what you've seen, give us a thumbs up. You can also comment below. If you wish to do so, please subscribe. It won't cost you a penny, completely free. And if you want to be alerted when we next post a video, please click on the bell symbol. Now that's handy, there's rings here. Brilliant. Right. Time for us to grab some lunch. Thank you for watching. Catch you next time. Bye.